Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Yusuf. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at his Abu Dhabi residence the UAE's Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. In the presence of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and First Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority, and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Majesty welcomed the UAE Vice President, expressing thanks and appreciation for His Highness for his visit and wishing him abundant health and prosperity. During the meeting, cordial talks were exchanged regarding the deep-rooted Bahraini-UAE relations and means of further bolstering them in all fields to benefit both countries and their people. His Majesty hailed the long-standing fraternal bilateral relations, which are a model to be emulated among countries that share bonds of brotherhood and a unity of stances and destiny. His Majesty also congratulated His Highness on his outstanding achievements, including Dubai Expo 2020, which witnessed both great success and a wide international participation. His Majesty praised the leading role of His Highness in building modern-day Dubai, noting his numerous achievements and the development and prosperity of the Emirate in all fields. His Majesty wished the UAE and its people further progress and prosperity under its wise leadership. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at his Abu Dhabi residence the Abu Dhabi Crown Prince and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. Present were the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and First Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority, and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Majesty and the Abu Dhabi Crown Prince exchanged cordial talks on the deep rooted fraternal Bahraini UAE. UAE relations and the two countries shared keenness to bolster their ties in order to serve their joint interests and meet their future aspirations. They expressed pride in the existing fraternal bilateral relations and their steady progress across various fields, praying to Allah the Almighty to bless the two countries with everlasting progress and prosperity. His Majesty and His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed reviewed the latest regional and global developments. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa met the Abu Dhabi Crown Prince and Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan at Al Bahar Palace. Present were the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, First Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority, and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and a number of their Highnesses. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan welcomed His Majesty the King and held with him cordial talks that reflect deep-rooted brotherly relations binding the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United Arab Emirates based on solid bonds of fraternity, unity and destiny and joint cooperation, wishing the two countries further progress and prosperity. His Highness conveyed to His Majesty the King greetings from UAE President His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, who wished His Majesty the King good health and happiness and the Kingdom of Bahrain and its people further progress and prosperity. His Majesty the King took pride in strong historical relations and fraternal ties binding the two brotherly countries, hailing the advanced level of joint cooperation and coordination across all fields. His Majesty the King hailed UAE developments, economic, cultural and scientific strides under the wise leadership of President Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, Vice President, Prime Minister and Dubai Ruler, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum and His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. He lauded the UAE pivotal role on the regional and international levels as well as its drive to strengthen the pillars of security and stability, promote peace in the region and the world, and its global initiatives to provide assistance, serve humanity, and bolster the values of coexistence, tolerance, and cooperation between peoples. His Majesty the King and His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan hailed solid fraternal relations, binding their countries and peoples, taking pride in the strong bonds of fraternity and cooperation on all levels. His Majesty the King and Abu Dhabi Crown Prince discussed a number of GCC regional and international issues of common interest.
The personal representative of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for the Environment, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, announced the Kingdom's presidency on the Executive Committee of the Montreal Protocol on Substances that Deplete the Ozone Layer for the year 2022, which is considered the first Gulf achievement since the ratification of the Montreal Protocol in 1987. His Highness praised the Royal Directors of His Majesty the King to participate in international organizations and authorities, which would consolidate the Kingdom's active contributions and enhancing international cooperation in various fields, especially in the environmental field and combating climate change and its repercussions. His Highness noted the continuous follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in this regard. He emphasized the importance of the role played by the Executive Committee of the Montreal Protocol in supporting international efforts to protect the environment. His Highness stated that the Kingdom has implemented 38 projects through the multilateral fund to assist the ref refrigeration and air conditioning sectors to switch to non-ozone depleting alternatives. His Highness expressed his aspirations for the upcoming phase during which Bahrain will assume the presidency of the executive committee to be filled with achievements as well as discussions of projects related to the GCC and Arab countries to develop strategic plans to phase out HCFCs which deplete the ozone layer. His Highness thanked all countries that supported Bahrain in assuming this vital position. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, hailed the unprecedented achievement of the Cordoba Club de Football, who qualified to the semi finals of the Copa Federation after beating Xeris 1 0 in the quarter finals. His Highness Sheikh Nasser said that Cordoba gave the most wonderful examples of the fighting spirit prevailing among the players and the outstanding application of the instructions of the technical and administrative staff. His Highness added that the support of the management for the team has contributed to achieving the qualification. He also said that the historic achievement will boost the players' determination to continue their high-class play and achieve further victories. The Southern Governor, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa, met the governorate's affiliates on the occasion of winning the E-Government Excellence Award 2021 for Southern Governor's Virtual Majlis Project. Governor Al Khalifa affirmed that this achievement reflects the directors of His Majesty the King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the unwavering support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salma bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He also expressed pride in the Southern Governorate in making this achievement and stated that it is in line with the vision of the governor to create an environment that prospers through communication communication with citizens, which also is an implementation of the Minister of Interior to emit the aspirations of citizens. Governor Al Khalifa affirmed that the governorate resorted to the digitalization of services following the spread of the coronavirus and the rapid technological development. The stated, he stated that the virtual Majlis project has become one of the main platforms to meet directly with citizens and residents. The Minister of Information, Ali Romahi, hailed the support of the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa, of Bahraini youth through various initiatives launched by His Highness, which reflect his keenness to implement the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to create an ideal environment for empowering young people. During his visit to the set of Your Talent at Home competition, Romahi affirmed that this competition is one of the qualitative initiatives launched by His Highness, which is an incubator platform for Bahraini talents to present their talents in a competitive manner, which contributes to enhancing the confidence of the participants. The minister indicated that such competitions highlight the different talents of Bahraini youth, which can be refined in a way that motivates them to participate in the development of various fields, affirming to the ministry's keenness to harness all capabilities and human cad cadres to support all the initiatives launched by His Highness to serve the aspirations and objectives of His Highness aimed at serving the Bahraini community. Romahi wished success to all participa to participants in the competition. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, participated in a discussion session run by former U.S. Secretary of the Treasury and Investment Banker Stephen Nuchin. The Minister of Finance was speaking during his participation within the high level delegation headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in the fifth edition of the Future Investment Initiative Forum in Saudi Arabia. He pointed out that the Future Investment Initiative Forum reflects the pioneering role of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia in promoting the development role of the region and its competitiveness. He described 
described the initiative as a platform to exchange experiences and bolster cooperation to attract investments to the region and enhance economic diversity. The minister said Bahrain has become an inspirational story of success in dealing with the exceptional health circumstances imposed by the pandemic on the whole world. He attributed this success to the far-sighted vision and directors of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the follow-up of His Royal Highness Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The minister pointed out the need to continue joint action to ensure success of the quality plans and initiatives to back the economy, achieve economic recovery, and ensure stability of the labor market. The Minister of Foreign Affairs summoned the Ambassador of Lebanon to the Kingdom of Bahrain and handed him a letter of protest, expressing the Kingdom's strong condemnation of the statements made by the Lebanese Minister of Information towards Saudi Arabia and the UAE and the false allegations that made regarding the course of the war in Yemen that are denied by internationally documented facts and evidence. In the memo, the Ministry confirmed that the crimes and violations committed by the terrorist Houthi group against Yemen and its brotherly people and its continuous attacks on the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia since its legal coup against the government refuted these irresponsible statements that violated diplomatic norms constituted a deliberate offense to the countries of the coalition to support legitimacy in Yemen and ignored the principles and values that govern fraternal relations between Arab countries. The National Initiative for Agricultural Development in cooperation with the Ministry of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning and the Supreme Council for the Environment announced that it received general support from Zain Bahrain for the afforestation of Al Istiqlal Walkway and the Southern Governorate and from Batilko for the Arad Walkway and Mahara Governorate within the National Afforestation Campaign Forever Green. The campaign is being implemented under the directives of His Majesty the King and the patronage of Her Royal Highness the Consort of His Majesty the King and President of the Niyad Council of Council, which reflects the keen interest of Her Royal Highness in agricultural and environmental development projects that contribute to the growth and expansion of the agricultural sector in Bahrain. It also reflects the significant role of the private sector in supporting the national campaign for afforestation in response to the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to strengthen partnerships between the two sectors, which resulted in supporting six of the 27 sites planned in the first stage of the campaign for the governorates of the kingdom. The Kingdom of Bahrain announced that children are being eligible to receive doses of Sinopharm vaccine against COVID-19. The decision follows an approval from the Coronavirus Task Force and the Ministry of Health. The task force is urging children to receive the vaccination to protect themselves, their families and public health. And to speak more about this, we are joined on the phone by the consultant of the public health and epidemiology and head of immunization group at the Ministry of Health, Dr. Basma Safar. Hello, Dr. Basma. Tell us more about the approval of Sinopharm vaccine against COVID-19 for children between 3 to 11 years old. So, hello. Good evening, everybody. So, the Sinopharm vaccine has been granted emergency authorization for children from 3 to 11 years by the National Committee to Combat COVID-19 Pandemic and the Immunization Committee. The data from a study conducted in China were reviewed back in August, and the vaccination of high-risk group children from 3 to 11 years has been started in September. And a study also has been conducted in the Kingdom of Bahrain for high-risk group children at 3 to 11 years, which proven the safety of this vaccine as there was no reported cases of severe adverse events related to the vaccine. And the most common reported side effect after vaccination with Sinopharm in this age group was local reaction, including pain and also fever, which was all self-limited and the, resolved by antipyretic and simple analgesic at home. And this occurs mainly after one day of vaccination. And the vaccine also showed high level of antibody response among vaccinated children. Uh, in this matter, the Kingdom of Bahrain, uh, with the support of the National Committee uh, to Combat Pandemic and also the Immunization Committee, took the decision to uh, authorize the vaccine for all the children in order to protect them. So it's highly recommended that all the children belong to this age group to be registered after their parent approval and consent to take the vaccine in order to protect them and to raise the herd immunity in the population.
The consultant of public health and epidemiology and head of immunization group at the Ministry of Health, Dr. Basma Safar, thank you for joining us.